Hey guys, I made the video and totally forgot to put this in of my summertime phase, but that's cool because we'll make this a separate video. Um, so I got introduced to this brand by, I think it was like Instagram or YouTube. Anyway, the name is Glamnetic. Hopefully my address wasn't on there. And um, they make magnetic lashes. So there's this double-sided um, liner with brown. So in case you don't want like a black liner look, you can have it match your skin tone. I really love that about it. And I do have a little bit on, but we'll put some more. I love how easy and fast it is to like put on some lashes and leave the house. And the fact that she says, they say that it's, you can wear it up to 60 times. I really think that's true. I have worn it, um, I would say like almost 10 times now. And I like everything about the brand. I bought two styles that I'll show you in a moment. The only issue I'm seeming to have, and I thought it was because I had like concealer on my eye before I put on the liner, is that if you move the lash, the magnetic lash off the liner, even once, at the wrong time it can take the magnetic liner with it and then the lash doesn't stay down like it lifts so I put on the liner it says wait till it's about 80% dry I think that just means till it's tacky till it's not fully dry um, and this is what the box looked like for the liner, the double-sided liner. I saw the other liner they had and it just looked kind of flimsy. So I chose the felt tip. It looked like I could control it more. I also purchased the Glamnetic So Clean Makeup Corrector Pen. And it has additional, um, oops. <laughs> it has additional tips in it. So you can put more tips in when the first one goes, you know, gets old. And it's just like a felt tip that you can touch up the line with, like remove some of it. It tends to get soaked with the black liner, so you need to like pat it on a tissue, take off some of it, and then, or put the tissue on where you're removing it. Cause it tends to like, you see how it will smudge? And if you don't have a tissue to go boop after you smudged it, then it, it can tend to stay on your skin. But it is very helpful, and I think it's great for other makeup touch-up. So let's not let this dry too much. The lashes that I got, I first used, oh shoot, I left them over there on the bed. Okay, so I first was interested in the lavish, because I thought they were gonna like fit my style and everything but they are very i'm not gonna put it on because it takes off the liner they are very thick they are caterpillars these are like for going out you know they are nice but it's not every day for me they look like that you see the little bits of yep the little bits of magnets so yeah, I want to put the other one on. They also come with anchors on each end. So like if the edges are not staying down, the anchors will help them stay down. And the case has magnetic magnet in it so it stays, the lashes stay in there. I'll be right back with the lashes that I really like. Okay, I'm back. So I thought I lost them. <laughs> I stuck the magnets together and it really does look like a little insect. Anyway. So the inner side has like shorter lashes and then the outer side, if you can see, is slightly longer. So that's how you know which one's the inner. And I basically line it up. Oh, I put way too much liner here. I line it up on the corner and then I attach it to the rest of my eye and I kind of flatten it. I could always clean that up later. I actually, too much liner. I made it too thick. 
I, I can't see much. I'm like looking in my phone. So I've done this before and it made the lash lift. I'm hoping that's not what's gonna happen if it kind of spreads under to where the lash is. Yeah, so is that lash lifting? I don't think so. And now let's do the other side. I'm trying to move quickly. So this might look a little messy, but usually I have a cleaner line. Oh, I lifted it. See, you don't want to lift it too much because that's when you take away the liner with the magnets of the lash. Look at how fast that was. Line, snap it on. And I'll probably do it again in another like get ready with me or something because it's just so fast and I love it. And I'm going to take a little eyeshadow from the rose gold palette and put i hope it doesn't get on my lash and put some there yeah i'm getting all dressed up for Publix. <laughs> all right how does that look how do i look A little glam in a little time for a little money. And actually, these were on sale. I forget if it was 50% off. It was a really good sale. So that's how I ended up with... Oh, by the way, this one that I like is called Baller. And it comes in this packaging. Some of them have thinner um, strips. So it kind of explains that you can trim and you can remove any makeup. They also have the little Q-tips with the makeup remover in them and uh, it's reusable. They say you can clean it a little bit with the pads or cloths that they sell. And it says do not wet them, but I saw they have new designs that you can wet and I think that's great because you wanna be able to swim in it. That's why I like Lashify because you can swim and you can do a lot in it. But Lashify I find like I don't wanna sleep in it a lot and it's just a little bit more work to take off. This, I just pull it off and I use my regular makeup remover like I would use Bioderma or I would use um, one size go off and I just wipe it off. Or I didn't stick in the there, right corner properly. So um, I was supposed to close my eyes and pull down the lashes um yeah so these lashes are pretty great i love them and let me know what you think in the comments thank you for watching